All right, I finally got Dad's M7 snow tractor made by Alice Chalmers in World War II, 1944. I finally got it running today. Been trying for a couple weeks now, working on Saturdays only. And uh, finally uh, pulled the carburetor off yesterday and uh, cleaned it up and put it on today and fire dried up, it's running good. They made, I think, uh, I think I say they made 291. They didn't make many of these, but uh, dad actually bought two of these and when I was a kid and we took one of them and uh, went on some adventures with it up and going up to my uncle's cabin. He actually sold that one and uh, restored this one. This has a thousand miles on it, about uh, 1100 and something. And uh, so I got out to surprise him. So we got it running good. Got to figure out the tracks. It was hitting as I was pulling it out and driving through the snow. So I got to figure out how to adjust that out. Um, but uh, let's see if this thing will fire up. Give it a... No, I've got to find the button. So it's powered by Willie's Jeep engine. Uh, military wanted all his Chalmers to use the Willie's engine so that they wouldn't have to have more parts and that they could just use the parts they had already in place for the, the Jeep. Um, I do need to, I need to adjust the carburetor a little bit. I didn't have the gauge to set the, um, Oh, metering rod. So I'll have to ask dad for that after I surprise him with it. I'll get that gauge from him. And uh, the kit he gave me for my Jeep was missing the gauge. That's the only thing that was missing out of it was the special tool to check the metering rod. So he had probably opened it up and took that tool out when he was rebuilding the carburetor for something else. So, other than the little stumble when I give it some throttle, it's running good. We drove it over the snow out of his yard and over the snow bank down in the road. We had to put the tires back on it and bring it down to the shop here. And um, I'll figure out how to get that track adjusted. You can see this side, there's plenty of clearance. But on this side, it is too close to the body. And when you're turning, it's rubbing. So I want to get this thing adjusted up and uh, take it out on the snow before it's gone. We only probably have a couple more weeks. It's March 4th, I think, right now. So uh, probably by the end of March, we're going to run out of snow. So we're going to get it out and have some fun with it while we still have some snow. So if you uh, want to see some more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I will be posting some videos. I'm going to call a friend up and uh, get him to bring his drone out. We're going to get some, some good video of it driving around in the snow. We got about three feet on the ground right now. So go ahead and click subscribe on the channel, like the video. And I will continue posting some more content on this very unique and rare World War II Alice Chalmers snow tractor.